time. I know you didn't have your fans with you and that was disappointing, but you did have your skill set and you did manage to to become the only man from the UK to hold four of the belts. And that is some that is some triumph, isn't it? Some accomplishment. Yeah, it's a massive achievement for myself. Um, you know, massively proud for myself as well. The biggest achievement in my life, my career. You know, obviously it was a little bit frustrating that there was no fans or, um, you know, I couldn't bring a travelling support with me and my friends and my family, you know, so it was, it was kind of a bittersweet, but at the same time, it kind of made the, the victory a little bit more sweeter as well. It was just myself and the team around us and it felt it was like us against the world and we come away with the victory. So, yeah, it was a, it was a bittersweet uh, victory and a very proud moment for myself, yeah. And what about the confidence, you know, rolling with it to, to take out these top fighters? I mean, the Regis Pro Grey win for the, the World Super Series and a wonderful fight night as well for you. You know, they're, they're all sort of banking up now, aren't they? That must just give you the feeling that you can go on and take everyone in the world. Yeah, I believe in my own ability. I've said it for years and years. I believe I'm one of the best fighters on the planet and now everyone else thinks it now too. You know, I'm proving it time and time again that I can beat the best in the business, you know, and uh, this is this fight on February 26th is no different. Uh, I beat Jack Carroll and I beat him comfortably well and um, I move on to bigger and better things. But um, yeah, I, I believe that I'm coming into my prime now and uh, it's going to take a real, real special fighter, a real, a real good talent to um, to topple me at the minute. You know, I feel almost unbeatable at the minute. You were adamant yesterday. You didn't want to look at the bigger and better things, the the superstar fights, the two weights, the the welterweight, you know, brigade of, of wonderful talent there, Terence Crawford and, and and so on. The, it is all about Jack Cantrell, and yeah. that's what's got you to this moment. Not overlooking or not underestimating the opponents in front of you. Yeah, of course, hundred percent. You know, I've learned from recent fighters in, in the past. You know, and, and you know AJ uh, looking under overlooking Andy Ruiz. You know, Lopez is there last week overlooking Cambosis and when you do that, you, the worst happens, you know, you know, obviously I've got dreams and ambitions to become a two-weight world champion, but uh, if Jack if Jack comes away with a victory on, on February 26th, these dreams are, uh, are down in the duck, you know, they're not going to happen. Jack then Jack is in line for these fights. So, I've, it's my job and my duty to make sure that I do everything in my, in my power to make sure that he doesn't get anywhere near getting with his belts, that's the closest he's going to get to getting his belts is having a look at them today and that's what I believe. As we know, it's fight time and we've got 11 and a half weeks to go away, prepare and commit to take all them titles. Yeah, there were a couple of face-to-faces -face yesterday and he said he's already getting sick of the sight of you. That he shared the plane back as well, shared a hotel, but it's friends to enemies now. You've got that respect, but that all goes out the window in the next few weeks of training. Yeah, of course, the feeling was mutual yesterday. We had a lot of face offs. Uh, this is part of the job now. Uh, get this media leg done, and we can go away, lock ourselves in camp, and uh, prepare for a, a great fight come February. What makes you think that you have got the beating of Josh Taylor? Obviously, he's undefeated in 18. He's fought at a, a terrifically high level. He's beaten undefeated fighters before. What makes you different? I think obviously Josh has boxed at a, at a high level, winning the world titles, but I think I've just been denied the opportunities. I, I think come fight night, uh, this is my opportunity to go out there and, uh, and prove I'm, I'm the best fighter in the UK. Not only that, the world, but uh, yeah, I've had some brilliant fights, I've beat everybody domestically. You now I've got the opportunity to catapult myself onto that world stage. How for those wins by knockout, do you think you've got the power as well as the style to, to trouble him? You've got to go up to Glasgow, into the cauldron there at the Hydro. It's going to be tough, but then at this level, it is hard, isn't it? Of course, this is what I'm in the sport for. Uh, I'm welcoming all these big challenges now, hopefully the next couple of years of my career, uh, I can test myself against great fighters like Josh. Uh, it's going to be a tough fight, but I've prepared not just for the 10 12 weeks. This is what all the years in boxing have led to, and uh, I'm fully confident I can go up there and cause a big upset. Josh will be getting the best Josh Taylor, and uh, he'll be facing the best Josh Taylor. So if he wins, then fair play. There'll be no excuses for me, but um, I can't see any way that he wins this fight. No way you win this fight, Jack Cattrall. What's the answer to that? I'm going to win. There's several ways that I can win this fight. Uh, I'm going to win this fight. No question, no doubts. No question in my mind, no doubt in my mind. By how? By how? By how, Turning yeah. up to Scotland and being Jack Cattle. How are you going to do that? In what way? What way? How are you going to do that? How are you going to do it? 
doesn't matter. How are you going to do it? You beat her. Uh, get in there. Don't know. Punch your head in. You don't know. You've got to punch my head in. Yeah. How oh, easy as that, is it? Well, it's not <laughs> oh, easy. Go back to bed. Go back to bed. Thank you.